well those who don't know me my name's sarah parkinson i'm a children's author and illustrator i've written and illustrated done the pictures on two books so far there's a series there'll be another one coming out later this year all being well um and i am running these uh workshops uh writing ones on wednesdays and drawing ones on thursdays and um if you want to continue watching these please make sure you follow my page for updates who have we got today we've got henry hi henry we've got jessica Ned dudley oh lovely to see you jessica i hope you've got your got make sure that you've got some paper and pens pencils maybe some coloring that you can be doing as we go along because you can just pick which ones you want to follow along with hi marianne hi sarah Ah, oh, see which ones um, you want to carry, you want to do today. You don't have to do all of them. You can just pop in and out. Grown ups, you can join in too. We've had some good kind of ones with the with the grown ups joining in as well. Let's have a look. We've got Iris. Hello, Iris. Iris and Jenna. We've got Millie and Izzy. Oh, hi, from, hi from Cornwall. Hello, hello, Daniel. Oh, lovely. Am I? I think I'm on too. <laughs> Yes, hello. And um, so, and if you are um, watching on replay, I just have to say this, feel free to skip forward um, past all these bits because I like to say hello to everybody who's watching live. Uh, I'm Atula and Adu I, oh, I, I really hope that I'm saying, I need to look up how to say your name. Um, Ad, Ad, we are, oh, it just looks like it's, I, I know that I'm not doing it any justice and I know that I will, uh, I will, I will look up how to say it. It looks gorgeous, gorgeous name. Yusuf and Malik, Yusuf. I'm liking the look of your story so far. Well, it's, it's, got, it's got some lovely facts in there, hasn't it? Now, the Yusuf wants to be a cardiologist, which means that you look after the heart, which is going to be the wrong side on yours. <laughs> look after the heart. Oh, lovely. Winter, hello, hello. How are we all doing today? I'm going to be drawing some people. <gasps> we excited. It's a bit different today, isn't it? It's not animals, it's people. I used to be a bit scared of drawing people. Oh, hello, Bella. Hi, Katie. And hi, Sophie, as well. If you're watching, maybe you've got some pens as well. Oh, Caitlin, the space adventure is here from Dublin. Is that the one that I thought that is? It's your front cover I saw yesterday, wasn't it, Caitlin? That was very good. Good spaceman. Oh, space woman. Space adventurer. Space adventurer. That is a really, really good, really good title, isn't it? adventuring through, through space how are we getting on with our stories or i mean there's a bit of a mixture this time isn't it really because it's it's really it's like it's almost like a non-fiction almost because you're thinking about it in the future and you're writing down lots of facts and things about your jobs and the things you're going to be very exciting does anybody else have any further ideas of what they want to do i'll have to see i'll have to have a look once we're uh as we go along Love to hear some ideas though, and make sure, please, please share them with me because that's what absolutely makes my week is seeing all of your drawings and all of your stories. Honestly, big smile on my face every time I see one. And you're more than welcome to email them to me, uh, put them on my Facebook. There's a post. There's a post, and um, just so that they're kept all together. There's a post uh, that's pinned on my Facebook page where you can send them, where you can put them up on the comments so everybody can see them. You can post them to. Um, my page if you like but if you could if you're just posting it in the comments pop it in that um that images um post that would be brilliant that's pinned to the top of my page at the moment for you so you know where to put it otherwise you can email email me sarah parkinson author at gmail.com and i would love to be able to see um all the stories i've had some fantastic ones so far oh hi charlotte have we got Hi, oh, hi, Daniel. Oh, hi, Daniel. Love, Iris. Oh, lovely. Hi, Harriet in Warrington. Lovely to see you today. Right then, shall we get doing some drawing? Oh, Dominica. Lovely to see you too. Right, let's do some drawing, shall we? Now, I'm doing these a little bit at random um, because that's the way that my, the, on my pile. I'm just going to work through as many as I can. Fingers crossed. You just stay with me and just draw along with me. Oh, and grown-ups, I've not done your tea reminder. Come on now, grown-ups need to make sure that we get a brew. This is important. This is a very good one today for you to get a, a brew and put your feet up and just relax, isn't it? Don't have to get too involved. It's just me and the kids. <laughs> All right then, now. Hey, 
you know what I've missed out and I missed this out yesterday didn't I I missed out our warm-up <sighs> so for the drawing it's all dead simple isn't it we just need to wiggle our fingers as much as we can uh, I'm watching you you're wiggling those fingers wriggle 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 grown-ups have to do this as well you know helps to make sure that everything's all working properly you're not gonna if you try and draw a straight line it's a lot easier to do it after you've done these exercises it's a fact lovely stuff lovely to see you okay let's do some some of these ooh, 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 ooh. do just the thumbs just the thumbs big thumbs up and then just the little fingers lovely okay fantastic job so far okay pens and papers ready I would recommend using a pencil today in a rubber, but it doesn't matter if you've not got one. You just work with what you've got in front of you. But just in case if you want to do some rubbing out of things as we go along, you'll see what I mean. But we'll see how we go. All right. The fact is, we can just watch it on replay, can't we? It's all good. Okay, then. So first things first. I'm going for a popular one first. Are we ready? See if you can guess this one. Begins with a burr. It's not a ball. <laughs> it's a ballerina. Okay. I really hope that's come out okay. Right, we're all the right way round lovely stuff so we're going to start and they're all going to be the very similar way the way that it all works off that um that person that i drew yesterday okay so we always start with our head nice round head and well shall we put some eyes on this head remember so think about where halfway down the halfway down the uh, circle is so there's your circle I draw don't do this <laughs> imaginary line and then your eyes go just above the imaginary line so just there I hope nobody did that there we go and then a little nose and I just do a little bloop helps if you do the noise bloop oh, she's got a lovely nose this one and then we'll draw a nice smile shall we oh shall we have a yeah we'll have a smile a lovely happy ballerina this one put some cheeks on lovely now this ballerina is going to be doing i'll turn you around to me it's going to be doing something like this so watch what my shoulders do when i do that so we're going to do that with our ballerina's shoulders aren't we okay let's get him on so our ballerina's shoulders are going to be going, oh, we're going to be going like this. How's that? Slim that line down a little bit. Grown ups, please don't pay any attention to my nails. <laughs> I'm sure the kids don't care. <laughs> We've had I've taken a battering this morning when I was doing the shopping. Right. Let's draw a top. Now you might want to do this in a different colour. I'm going to do it in a different colour. But if it's your first stab at it, just keep it on the same one. I'm just going to draw a nice vest for her. I wonder if you can see that, okay. And that's also, so they're just little straps, just like that. And then they're going to go down into her body like this. I'm just going to do a little, just to quickly colour it in. Because I like my ballerina to look quite nice. Should we draw some arms? She's not going, she is going to have hair, don't worry. <laughs> Let's draw. Now, do you remember the way I did my arm just then? So she's going to be like this. You draw a curvy arm like that. See what I do. 
So you draw a straight line to the elbow, another straight line to where the wrist is, and then let's just pop the other side on. And they tend to do a little, ooh, don't they? The hands. And we don't need to get over complicated with the hands, do we? We don't need to get worried. Get, uh, just do that, shall we? How's that? Lovely, let's get that nose out of the way. And uh, let's do her other arm. <laughs> can you hear my daughter singing in the background? I hope you can. There we go. So she's going to have her hand out on a bar, but I'll draw the bar afterwards. You know those um, ballerina bars that they like to lean on whilst they're doing their exercises? I'm sure there's a proper name for them. Please feel free to tell me. Right, so change that just to a bit of a curvy bottom to her, her vest top. Hope we're all following along. Now, what I want you to do now is let's draw the, a little bit of a skirt. Now it's going to be one of those fancy tutus, isn't it? So what we do, if we draw a line right out. So this skirt isn't going to be, so a normal skirt might be down here, might not. A tutu goes right the way out though, doesn't it? So if you do that for me, so it goes out quite far. If you think about how it's like this, the size of what this ballerina is so far, isn't it? So do it out to there. And then what I want you to do is draw one line at one end and one line at the other. Let's see if you can do a wiggly line. So watch me first. A wiggly line for the bottom of this tutu. Are you ready? You watch me. Mm. Joining one to the other. Also helps doing the noise. It always helps doing the noise. So I want to hear some ooh as you're doing your wiggly lines. Okay. And then I'm going to draw some little folds of these of this tutu coming out from the bottom as well. What do we think? Just like that. What do we think? Now, I'm going to do... Now, with her legs, I tell you what she wears, she'll probably be wearing the same colour for, for her tights, won't she? So, let's pop some legs down here. Just little... Just need to be straight, don't they? Because they have their toes pointed and then at the bottom all you want to draw just like that really just little shapes just like that does that make any sense let's draw it a bit bigger so you can see let's have a colour Mine in. Tell you what, mine have turned a bit interesting, haven't they? Poor ballerina. Now, my ball ballerina is going to have red hair like my daughter. <laughs> so, what I will do, let's pop her on some ears. And with the ears, just needs to be, let's show you the side of her head like that. Just needs to be like that. Just next to the eyes. Nothing too complicated. Simpler the better. And we're going to give her some red hair. It's going to be a bit on the coppery side, shall we say, because uh, see what I've done there. So that's the head. 
you do little curvy lines and you can either just colour those in or draw little strands of hair just like that. It looks quite neat, doesn't it? And there's also going to be a bun because I think our ballerina needs a bun, doesn't she? And again, you can just draw little strands of hair or you can colour it in. Lovely. And then we'll draw a bar as well for it to be leaning on. Let's see, I've done enough of my exercises. My, my lines are coming across a bit wobbly. Try not to lean on the uh, on my ballerina as well, or else she'll disappear. Goodness me. There we go. Yeah, it's an interesting bar, isn't it? <laughs> Deary me. There we go, that's a bit better. Maybe there's a bit of a flaw as well. But you do that if you're happy doing that. How are we all doing? I hope we're all following. Okay. So that's our ballerina. Now I thought that there was a, somebody who was doing a story about a tooth fairy. So we can alter our ballerina to be a bit of a tooth fairy because she's practically kitted out to be a fairy already, isn't she? So let's just quickly write that out for you. Whoever wants to be the tooth fairy when they grow up, I didn't write down the name. Um, Iris was one of my ballerinas though, wasn't she? Hello Iris, hope you enjoyed the ballerina. I'm keeping it on the screen long enough for you. Now, to make our ballerina, I will be doing some rubbing out. This is why I said it might be good to have a rubber with you if you wanted to make a few changes. But, we took away the bar and the dance floor. Oh well, uh, she's practically already a fairy, isn't she? But we just need to add, I'd like to think that our tooth fairy has a little bit of a crown. So we can do that. Having a little tiara just like that. Add one big bit in the middle. This is absolutely naff, I apologise. Once it's coloured in, it'll look lovely. <laughs> Draw a tiara. And then, obviously, our tooth fairy is going to need arms. But she won't be leaning on a bar, will she? She will have her arms down and... Looking lovely, but she might be waving. A magic tooth fairy one, mightn't she? Dear me. So what I do, if I've got if I'm drawing a fist really quickly, I just draw a little circle. Because that's all you really see, isn't it, of a fist sometimes? Let's draw a tooth fairy wand. Now you could draw a star. Now a quick way to draw a star. If you, draw a, if you draw a triangle and then draw an upside down triangle on top of it, that's a good star, isn't it? That's a nice, easy one. Or you can draw what I'm going to draw, which is going to be a nice shiny tooth. So it's going to be like that on the top. You might think that looks a bit weird and wonky, but aren't all teeth a bit weird and wonky? Maybe you can add some glitter to it to make your tooth very tooth shine. What do we think? How are we getting on? Oh, Harriet says you're really clever. Oh, thank you, Harriet. <laughs> oh, it's very hard when you live with a scientist to think that you're very clever. He's much more cleverer than me. 
Uh, Iris loves the crown. Mine is called Mini. Oh, lovely Catherine. Oh, thank you. Sorry, thank you from Emmy. Thank you, Emmy. Next one. Let's make an inventor, shall we? Oh, dearie me. Who wants to draw an inventor? There we go. I N V. Suddenly turned myself into Carol Borden. E N T O R. Inventor. Sure, we're all looking now. Oh, goodness me. Let's draw our inventor. Circle for a face. And we'll draw, draw on the eyes, make sure he looks like a real person. I'm just doing black dots for eyes for these, but you can do whatever you like. If you want to go a bit crazy and give them, shy, give them um, shiny eyes or whites of the eyes, you can do that absolutely I'll cover that at the end if there's time but I have a feeling I might be a bit short on time now so let's draw him a nice smile and I'm gonna start with the hair with this one because I think we need to draw some big crazy hair for our crazy inventor there we go everyone's okay there we go right So, all we have to do is draw some crazy pointy wiggly lines because he's a little bit frazzled. Maybe you want to draw him some crazy eyes. Maybe you want to draw him some swirly eyes. Because a little bit frazzled. They tend to, tend to work through the night, don't they? And the other thing I'm going to draw on this inventor is some goggles. So draw on top. Now for your goggles, just need to be little, little oblongs, thick ones though, colour all that in, just going round his head, does that make any sense? There we go. And then we want to draw his neck, don't we? So draw a little neck, a little curvy bit for the top of his shirt. Oh, in fact, no, we're not going to do a curvy bit for the top of his shirt on this one because he's wearing it. He's, he's wearing actual kind of shirt. So put, as I said yesterday, get your shoulders out to the edge of the head, just to there, not to not to the hair. Your hair, your shoulders could be out here, couldn't they? And we'll just draw his body. Let's draw a V, a long V underneath his uh, neck there. I want you to draw a little collar or a lapel. So you do that by drawing a line down the side of the V and then it goes inwards a little bit and it comes outwards a little bit and it meets back in the middle. Down, in, out, down and meet at the middle. And what else do we have? All his shirt will go right down to the bottom. In fact, oh gosh, I'm sorry to rub out again. I'm so sorry. But he wants, he wants to wear a longer one, doesn't he? His will be longer. Sorry guys, I hope that hasn't messed up the thing, but his waist is there be wearing a work shirt won't he and then let's have him holding a spanner now your spanner if you draw part of a circle and then kind of the part of a hexagon on the inside what a hexagon is Hexagon is a six-sided shape. 
like that. That's not a very good one. But it is a hexagon. So if you imagine that that's your hexagon, and there's your circle. This is a quick way to do it if you've got a rubber. About two sides and then put a handle on the end. You've got yourself a good spanner. Okay. Then we want to draw in another arm. So let's have his other arm on his on his waist, just there, and give him some legs. So remember his waist here. So pop his legs down a bit further. Oh, he's got big feet. This uh, inventor. So remember with our boots we do a semicircle with the lines popping out the top. How are we all doing? Okay, so I'm going to move swiftly on to the next one otherwise we'll never get through them. Feel free to watch again and jump to the bits that you want to. So next we've got a doctor or a nurse. We got any doctors or nurses watching? Now, one thing I thought would be nice is maybe you guys would like to put some of these pictures up either in your windows or if you know anybody who's um who's a nurse and maybe draw or a doctor and draw um, draw a picture of them and send, send it to them. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? I bet that would give them a smile. Got to try and spread as many smiles as we can at the moment, don't we? So, got our circle for our face. Pop on some eyes. Let's pop on some ears whilst we're at it. How are you going to have your hair on your doctor or your nurse? Hey, I'm going to do some almost like grass. For mine, colour it in. They look how they like, can't they? Maybe your doctor or nurse has a has some scrubs on, so they they look like that. It's an awfully quick one, but and the hats that they wear when they're um, in theatre when they're doing operations. <gasps> Draw a nice nose, nice mouth. He's a smiley, happy doctor. He's got a lovely bedside manner. I think I'll make this one a nurse. Okay, so we're going to give him a... Mine's a nurse anyway. The fact is, the way that you colour him, colour him or her in determines... How they, um, whether they're a doctor or a nurse, a green or a blue, seem to look at which one it is that your particular one is, what colour your, your shirts and scrubs and things should be, if they're a surgeon or if they're in the bedside or if they're looking after old people, maybe they work in a care home, because we'll be in a doctor or a nurse, then it's a care assistant, but it's a similar kind of uh, outfit. And so we've got a t-shirt, we've got, got a little pocket on there for his clock. Got to make sure he keeps on time, hasn't he, our nurse? And let's have his arm out like this. And I think he's going to have, so I'm going to have do my hand this time like a little claw almost. Because what this one is going to have is a stethoscope. Let's do my stethoscope in a different colour, just to make life easier. There we go. It's joined to go, it's like a little V, isn't it? Like a K. 
curvy V. There we go, and then like a wire, and that's what they use to hear your heart or your chest. Now I'm sure your doctor wouldn't have a stethoscope in one hand and a needle in the other, your doctor or your nurse, but I'm going to put a needle in the other hand so that you can see how to draw a needle. So what I do, dead simple, just a big long square, an oblong, and then make sure I do the point and let's have, this is the bit where they push down from, just do a little T on the top and then make sure you can all see and then a pointy bit on the other side that's your needle and then just need to put some doo -doo 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 -doo. does it help to do the noises on the other side boop, 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 boop. little lines showing how much is there so I'm going to draw it small down here bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, how are we all doing? I hope we're okay. Mine has a mask, Emmy. Oh, wow, should we do a mask on mine as well? Very good. Let's do his mask in green, shall we? Put mine. So I make it a curve. It's like a oblong but done on a curve with curved lines. You colour it in and then it goes in on little wires, little strings behind his ears, just like that. Just keep him safe. Keep you safe as well. Keeps everybody safe. Right. Next we've got legs. Nice and simple. They all wear trousers. And I think they wear some nice comfortable shoes as well. Do my nice simple, simple shoe. Semicircle and a line. What else do you need, eh? I think they all wear trousers nowadays, don't they? I don't think they wear skirts anymore. How are we doing with our doctors and our nurses? It's all about how you colour them in. I hope nobody's complaining that I've taken it off the screen now, but I do need to crack on. <gasps> Next, okay, we've got a scout leader in our midst, a future scout leader. <gasps> Ooh. Let's see what I do with a scout leader. Scout. No. Yeah, I have done those quite close together, but I want you to be able to see as much as possible. So all the writing's up there. Scout leader. Ready? Got our circle for our head. Pop on some eyes, just above halfway. Pop on some ears for our little scout leader. I don't know why he's little. He's a leader, isn't he? He's going to, maybe he's just very small. <laughs> no, I'll make him, make him tall. He wants to be... He's all grown up, isn't he? I think he's going to have a big smile on his face. What do you think? And let's give him some hair, shall we? Let's give him some hair like our nurse had. Okay, got a big thick smile hasn't he? Right, so what do our scout leaders wear? They have a little neck scarf don't they? So what I'm going to draw is a little, what should we say, like a little sausage I guess, just there. There, can you see where I've drawn my sausages? My sausages? <laughs> And then what we draw is a little circle underneath your sausages. I hope I'm doing this big enough. A bit closer. Okay. And then some kind of 
Sausages with a pointy end. <laughs> Just like that. That makes our little neck neckerchief. And then you want to add the stripes because as they wrap around, because they as they they kind of twist them to put uh, to where uh, put these little neckerchiefs on. The little edges like come across as stripy. You might want to do those in green perhaps or another colour, whatever colour you wear. Okay, so then I'm going to draw the sides of the body. A curve for his waist. And I think he's going to have some pockets there as well, isn't he? Maybe a couple of badges. Because the scout leaders have badges as well, don't they? Some of them. Maybe yours does. Or brownies as well. Do you know what? I don't know what the brownies were. I've not had a brownies request or else I would have walked it up. But they could have their hands at the side. Maybe he's doing a scout salute. Now this could be interesting, guys. Let's see how we go. Now your scout salute is like that, isn't it? Everybody can see. So to be able to do that... I use, best thing to do, I think, is, so if you imagine the shape, the, the size of what your hand's going to be, draw your imaginary, don't touch the paper, but just kind of draw a little circle in your head, just to think how big it's going to be. And half of that is going to be the bottom of it. So we draw a little thumb, a little finger, just like that. I'll draw it again as well for you. Bottom of the hand, and then... <laughs> and then his three fingers so let's draw that a bit bigger because for some reason I seem to have gone very small bottom of his hand and then one two three oh dear he's got very pointy fingers hasn't he <laughs> there we go I think that's okay then maybe he has his cuffs there, hasn't he? Because they wear the long, the long sleeved shirts. And then we want to draw some trousers Ooh. and some boots. Wah. Lovely. That's our lovely scout leader. Is he all? Is it all green? I think they want those to be green, don't they? The scout leaders. Maybe the cream. Should be using more colours, shouldn't I? I'll try to use more colours in the next one as I go along. Right, we have a drummer. I'm just going to keep going until they're all done. Um, drummer is... How many more have we got? We've got drummer coming up, beautician, fire, the uh, firefighter, a vet, and a marine biologist. The marine biologist is good. Right, let's quickly write out drummer. Do. Are. You. M, M, E, R. So we've got our face, got our ears, got our eyes. Now I think maybe this drum is going to be too cool for school. I think I've done a nose like this for this one. He's looking to the side. Like a B without a, a bit missing, isn't it? So he's going to be concentrating his far too cool for school. In fact, I'm going to have my drummer having some shades on because he's just too cool for school. And maybe some drummer hair. I don't know what makes this drummer hair, but... Okay, and he's going to have a t-shirt on. Very similar to the way that we've drawn the rest of these things. But with this one, we're not going to draw the bottom half. Because there's going to be some drums there, aren't there? So I'm sorry to be rushing through this. But as we've got, if you can see what, one, what I'm uh, doing here. So we've got the sticks and these little circle hands. 
out, ready to go. Then let's draw him some. I'll just make these up with a set of circles. So we've got one big one. Maybe you put the band name there. And then maybe there's a few different types of drums in front of him. we got the tentacle on stands as well and what else have we got another drum there maybe there's a symbol let's draw you a symbol do you know what a symbol is that's what a symbol looks like kind of <laughs> and you can show it clanging Put in the extra bits on there, showing it, making its noise, and maybe as well the old, the old good, good old trick of showing that music's going on. Draw some musical notes in the background. There we go. Lovely stuff. I hope that's okay for my drummer request. All right, beautician. There we go. So then we're going to have for our beautician because they tend to be so pretty, don't they? Got our ears, got our eyes. Maybe with the eyes, give her a little bit of a flick, some eyelashes, little nose. Maybe she has some little red lips. She's lovely and smiley though. And, oh, let's give her some hair. Whoop. Just with some little circles there. Little half circles. And then give her a little bobble. Maybe she's got like a nice side pony going on. Oh, she's funky like that. She's just cool. And let's give her a neck. And collar. Now they tend to wear a little tabard type thing. Now that is where, so let's draw these. So you'll see this as we go along. I'm just following my lines here. So draw the body. Now, like with the inventor, it goes down a little bit past the waist, this tabard. So, if you copy what I do here, you have a little bit of a collar. And it kind of has a line that goes just off the centre, really. One line at the other side of the collar. And I'll give a one arm down the side maybe we can have her holding some nail varnish or something shall we say and we'll give her some buttons on a tabard as well she'll give her a name badge as well she works somewhere dead posh holding some nail varnish in a minute. They tend to wear comfy shoes though, don't they? Because they're on their feet all day, bless them. For doing things like massaging and things. Are mass beauticians massage? I suppose that's from the suits, isn't it? I do still tend to wear funky, tend to wear comfy shoes. Let's get some nail varnish in there. All different colours. Yeah. 
late and I think that is everything so maybe you want to colour that in black or maybe you want to do it in purple or they tend to have nice colours don't they these blue the beauticians okay firefighter oh it's heating off now but we're going to get it all recorded and then people can come back to it I absolutely don't blame you if you have to go off and have your lunch firefighter And got our head, our ears, our eyes, big smile, little nose. Now for the hat, let's give him a fringe or her. It's a firefighter, isn't it? So he can be. Let's give him a red hat. And then draw. It looks like a little house on top of the head. And then circles coming off the side. God, this is going to strange to begin with. And then you'll want to draw a little semicircle line just like that there. Can you see? And then follow the line down to the side. Does that make any sense? I hope so. Getting the shape right. <laughs> the other orange. Um, there's his head and then we want to have a neck. Colour. Uh, now they tend to be black, don't they, with the red stripes. So let's get that right. Whoop, I've gone out too far. Body. Line down the centre. Patterns. And oh, this is really Stripes down the centre, and then maybe he's holding an axe. So he can get through a door into a car. Be holding a hose and then some lovely boots and he's all set who have we got left now how are we all doing uh, oh if possible can you please do a princess or a football of oh danny and belinda i'm so sorry i don't think i'll have time but you can absolutely adapt um so to do a football you just need to give him some sh some um some shorts might be able to cover a little bit in what I'm doing next. We'll see how we go. So nice and simple one to write now. Vet. <laughs> That's somebody who looks after animals, obviously. Who's doing a vet? So I'm so sorry to be rushing through these. I hadn't have dropped everything. Nice smile, nice nose. Is it he or is she or that? Nice ears. And let's pop the neck. They tend to have things that are a bit like tabards a bit really sometimes, or it's more of a scrubs type type outfit. But I'm gonna give them a V-neck. Bit of body. Short sleeves. And maybe they're holding a 
cat or a... It's hard to do this one in the small way. <laughs> Nice, nice cat in there in his or her arms there. But if you're wanting to do the uh, do the shorts, be a footballer. Dead simple. It's just showing you how to draw people, really. This. This is what it's all about. It's just the different accessories and things that you need. Maybe you've got a knobbly knees, your footballer. Sorry, I know this is kind of stepping on the vet a little bit. some good socks Look at some pictures there we go obviously a nice ball but I'm sure you could draw a football but if not I'm sure we can cover it another time but our vets Nice and simple, comfy shoes. Lovely. Uh, they tend to be blue, they're tabards. They're tabards, they're uh, uniforms, they're scrubs. And one more, our marine biologist we've got there. Now my marine biologist is underwater. So that's what's going to make this one a bit different. Right. How are we all doing? Still watching, still going. Uh, let's have a look. How are we all doing? Oh, thank you for the beautician. No problem at all. Um, right. So our marine biologist. Last one, guys. Last one. Oh, we might just, might just make it, hey? So, got a nice, nice head. Not that other people don't have nice heads. We're going to have, do the hair first on this one. And some ears. Because our one is underwater, so we're going to draw some goggles. Let me see. My goggles. Bit of a different colour just to keep life interesting, eh? And give him a nice nose. And I'm very biologist, I think I'm gonna make a girl. So let's give her because as she's underwater, her hair's gonna be going whoop. whoop all over the place. Maybe you want to draw some fish in the water with her. She'll have a little, little uh, scuba diving suit on, I think. She'll be underwater. She'll be an under, underwater explorer, I seem to recall. I can't remember whose it was. Whose was my, uh, my sea explorer? Ooh. Um, now, let's see. So we'll draw her a body. We'll draw it. It's just, just like a skin suit, isn't it? So it doesn't really, it really need much, much detail, does it? Maybe there's like a bit of a design on it. And what are we doing? So she's, maybe she's got her hand out because she's swimming, and treading water. Colour all this in. And the other one is maybe taking a picture on her camera so let's draw a nice little camera here what's a good way to kind of show that it's a camera when a flashy bulb don't we do that in a different color show all the flashes coming off flash lines blub 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 and we can give her some legs it's nice of us isn't it She's swimming. Maybe some flippers. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. 
There we go. Oh, I was going to draw a shark as well, but I just don't think there's time. It's just been an absolutely crazy one this time. So much to fit in. Oh, oh gosh, I nearly lost you again. Absolutely lovely. Oh, no problem, Sharon. Thank you very much. Um, thank you so much for staying with me. It's been a long one today, and especially if you've had yours, go off and have your lunch and enjoy yourself. So that's that's absolutely fine. Um, thank you very much for bearing with me today. Um, next week I'll have a new theme. Um, I'm going to be looking. I'll decide over the weekend again see what our next one's going to be. I hope you all have a lovely Easter weekend um, and that you've got some nice Easter eggs in to eat perhaps or um, I'll just at least have a nice break. Um, I will, oh gosh, I'm getting a countdown from our Instagram as well. Right, okay then, so please make sure that you send me your um, photos, your stories to sarahparkinsonauthor at gmail.com or pop them on a post on Facebook or if you're on Instagram make sure that you uh, message it to me and I'll, and I'll uh, put them up in the gallery on Friday. Um, so I will see you next week 10 o'clock on Wednesday. Thank you, bye Instagram, you're going to be sending, sending me off, I've got a question